The T is generally held at the end of words and before consonants within words. This held T is very common in American English. Using it will help you to sound more like a native speaker since non-native speakers almost always tend to release the T when speaking English. Listen to the following sentences repeated twice and notice how the first time the T's are released and the second time the T's are held. It's not that hot tonight. It's not that hot tonight. The T in the second sentence is almost silent. All you hear is interruption of the previous sound. This just gives you an idea that the T is there. Note. You will sometimes hear Americans release the final T. If they do, it's usually at the end of a phrase or a sentence or for special emphasis of a word. For example, That's great. It's so hot. There is no absolute rule about always holding the T, but keep in mind that if you release the T at the end of every word, it will sound like a foreign accent. Practice with the final T. First, just listen to the words pronounced two different ways, with the T released and the T held. Then repeat, just saying the word with the held T. Cut. Cut. Robert. Robert. State. State. Out. Out. Present. Present. Budget. Budget. List. List. Absent. Absent. Met. Met. Word contrasts for the final held T. Listen to the differences between the following pairs of words. They sound almost the same, except the second word ends with a T. Notice how in the second word, the final held T interrupts and shortens the previous consonant. Can, can't. Fall, fault. Star, start. Men, meant. Fell, felt. Car, cart. Did you say can or can't? The silent T is one of the reasons why you may have a hard time hearing the difference between the words can and can't. Instead of saying, I can't do it, Americans hold the T and say, I can't do it. Held T plus a consonant. Always hold the final T when the next word begins with a consonant. Instead of saying at work, say at work. Word pairs for practice. It was. Might do. Can't go. At work. Didn't like. Won't need. Eight weeks. Budget cut. Always hold the T when the next letter within the same word is a consonant. Football. Outside. Lately. Nightmare. Atmosphere. Atlas. Atlanta. Butler. Sentences for practice for the held T. I might not do that. It's not that great. He built that website last night. It felt quite hot in Vermont. What? That can't be right. Matt went out for a bite to eat. 
That apartment felt quite hot. If you eat out every night, you'll get fat. Study tip. Make a list of the most common words that are used in your workplace, or if you're a student, the terminology in your field of study. Find out the correct pronunciation of these words. Also, master the pronunciation of the name of the company that you work for and the names of your American co-workers. This will greatly add to your confidence level when you're speaking in a professional situation. Held T before an N sound. When the T is followed by an N or N sound within a word, make sure that you hold the T. For example, we don't say button or button, we say button. Hold the T as in but and then add an N without releasing the tongue from the gum ridge. Button. Similarly, don't say written or written. Say written. Don't say kitten or kitten. Say kitten. Words for practice. Certain. Gotten. Mountain. Lighten. Cotton. Britain, eaten, written, forgotten, frighten, sentences for practice, T plus N sound. I will shorten the curtain. He has eaten the rotten food. I'm certain that it was written in Britain. I've already forgotten the sentence. That cotton blouse has buttons. Martin Luther King and Bill Clinton are famous Americans. T after N. The T after an N or an N sound is often silent. Instead of saying Internet, you will frequently hear Americans say Internet. This is fairly standard speech, and it's not considered overly casual or sloppy speech. Words for practice. Interview. 20. Disappointing. Accountable. Dentist. Intellectual. Quantity. Advantages. International. Center. Cantaloupe. Plenty. Santa Monica. Atlanta. Orange County. Sacramento. Dialogues for practice. There are many advantages to working for that international company. I'll be disappointed if they don't call me for an interview. I hear they're looking for someone with interpersonal skills and plenty of energy. It's only 20 minutes from Santa Monica.
when T is between two vowels. The T sounds like a fast D sound when it's between two vowels. When a T is between two vowels, it's generally pronounced like a fast D sound. We don't say better, we say better. It also sounds the same as the rolling R sound that sounds like R of many languages, where the tip of the tongue touches the upper gum ridge. This sound is also sometimes called a tapped T because you quickly tap the tip of the tongue on the gum ridge. Listen to the following three pairs of sentences. The first sentence of each pair is pronounced with a foreign accent or a British accent. The second sentence is an American sound. It's better and better. It's better and better. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I ate a lot of meat. I ate a lot of meat. The T becomes a fast D in the following cases. Between two vowels. We don't say better. We say better. Before an L. We don't say little. We say little. After an R and a vowel. We don't say party. We say party. We don't say 40. We say 40. Note, the T does not change to a fast D sound if the T is within a stressed syllable. We don't say attack. We say attack. Words for practice. City. Duty. Better. Ability. Total. Matter. Meeting. Quality. When T is between two words. This fast D also occurs between two separate words when the first word ends with a vowel and a T and the next word begins with a vowel. For example, not at all sounds like not at all. Again, this is not sloppy or casual speech. It is a standard American accent. Word groups. It is. Get up. Try it on. Eat out. At 11. Wait a minute. What if? Put it off. Sentences for practice. I lead it a little later. I bought an auto battery for $40. Peter wrote a better letter. I'd better go to the meeting at 11. He met her at a computer store in Seattle. It's a pity that he's getting fatter and fatter. Tell the waiter to bring it a little later. He bought a lot of bottles of water. Betty's knitting a little sweater for her daughter. It'll be better if you heat it before you eat it. The fast D, D between two vowels. In addition to the standard D sound, as in words like dog, day, and bed, there is another kind of D sound that occurs between two vowels and also before an L. It sounds exactly like the T between two vowels. Instead of saying ready, we say ready. It's the sound made with the tip of the tongue quickly tapping the gum bridge. Word pairs for practice. The following word pairs sound the same even though the first word is spelled with the T 
and the second word is spelled with a D. Since they're both between two vowels, the sounds are identical. Medal. He won a gold medal in the Olympics. Metal. My car is made out of metal. Adam. His first name is Adam. Adam. An atom is the smallest unit of an element. Hit it. My hand hurts because I hit it hard. Hit it. You can't find it because I hit it. Leader. The president is the leader of the country. Leader. How much is a liter of gasoline? Feudal. There was a feudal system in the Middle Ages. Feudal meaning useless. My effort was totally futile. Individual words for fast d between two vowels. Listen to the fast d sounds in the following words. Already. Addict. Canada. Editor. Ladder. Product. Middle. Shadow. Word pairs. Add on. Made it. Hit it. Fed up. Sentences for practice. I already added it. Adam will edit the middle part. Those products are made in Canada. She had on a Prada dress. I'm fed up with that crowded elevator. Note, remember if the D is within a stressed syllable, this rule does not apply. First, you will hear a word with a normal D and then one with a fast D. Adopt, addict, adore, audit. T plus R sounds like an almost CH sound. When the T is followed by an R sound, the T changes and becomes an almost CH sound. Instead of saying trouble, we say trouble. Instead of saying true, we say true. To create this sound correctly, say ch as in chain, but just make the tip of the tongue a bit more tense when it touches the gum ridge and focus on creating a stop of air. Ch, ch, ch. Words for practice for T plus R. Travel. Turkey. Tradition. Introduce. Translate. Interest. Traffic. Extremely. Turn. Terrific. D plus R sounds almost like j sound. When the D is followed by an R, the D changes and becomes an almost j. Instead of saying drive, 
we say drive. Instead of dress, we say dress. Words for practice for D plus R. Drink. Children. Drop. Address. Dream. Cathedral. Drama. Hundred. Syndrome. Laundry. Dialogues for practice for T plus R and D plus R. Why do you travel by train? Because the traffic is so dreadful. What did Sandra tell the attorney? She told him the truth about the drugs. Have you traveled to Turkey? Yes, that country has some interesting traditions. I told him a hundred times not to drink and drive. I'm sure he'll try to stay out of trouble. To tell you the truth, I'm drained from all this drama. D plus U is usually pronounced as J, as in the word joke. Words for practice. Gradual. Schedule. Graduation. Education. Procedure. Individual. D plus Y is usually pronounced as J, as in joke. Did you? Would you? Could you? Should you? T plus U is usually pronounced as ch, as in church. Actually, situation, ritual, adventure. Virtual. Fortunate. Statue. Nature. Punctual. Picture. Final T plus Y is usually pronounced as ch, as in church. Don't you? Won't you? Can't you? Aren't you? Sentences for practice. Did you go to his graduation? Would you take our picture? Why can't you be punctual? Don't you like nature? Actually, this is a fortunate situation. You're adventurous, aren't you? Why won't you do it gradually? Can't you change your schedule? Verbs and nouns. 
The following words that are spelled with an S have a Z sound if they're verbs and have a S sound if they're nouns. Use, to use. Abuse, to abuse. Close, to close. House, to house. Excuse, to excuse. Advice, to advise. Sentence pairs for practice. Do you still use this? No, I have no use for it anymore. Where will they house their guests? They have a guest house. Does he abuse drugs? Yes, he's getting help for his drug abuse. Please excuse me. I don't accept your excuse. Would you close the door? You do it. You're close to it. Can you advise me on this? Sure, I can give you some advice. Sentences for practice. Remember to pronounce all of the final S sounds of plural nouns and of verbs with third person singular form he, she, and it. Say the following sentences quickly, making sure that you're not forgetting the S endings. A dishwasher washes dishes. A bus driver drives buses. A mechanic fixes cars. A teacher teaches students. A watchmaker makes watches. A real estate agent sells houses. Warning! Common mistake. Make sure that you're not pronouncing the words this and these the same. The word this is singular and is pronounced with a short i sound and a s. The word these is plural and is pronounced with a long vowel e and a z sound. This, these. I like this book. I like these books. Story for practice. Listen to the following story and notice that the final S is pronounced as either s, z, or is. Every morning he gets up early, brushes his teeth, washes his face, and eats breakfast. He kisses his wife and kids goodbye. He takes two buses to work. He usually manages to get to work before his co-workers. He reads his email, checks messages, and returns phone calls. He speaks with his colleagues and clients and conducts meetings. He focuses on his daily tasks and likes to take only 30 minutes for lunch.
the ng sound, ng. Don't drop the final g, but don't overpronounce it either. Don't say, I'm going shopping. And don't say, I'm going shopping. Instead, say, I'm going shopping. To create the ng sound, raise the back of the tongue and let it touch the soft palate, which is the back soft area of your mouth. Don't release your tongue when you say the G, or just release it slightly. The mistake of saying going shopping is that the tip of the tongue is touching the area right behind the upper front teeth for the N sound. And when you say going shopping, the mistake is that the G is released too much. Individual words, doing, teaching, coming, listening, being, going. Word pairs, doing nothing, something wrong. Looking young. Wedding ring. Bring everything. Feeling strong.